Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Mugen CQ Racing. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about servo installation. Let's take a closer look at how I install my Protec 170 servos into my Mugen vehicles. So first I want to go over a couple questions that I get all the time. And the first one being is, uh, do you use servo grommets? Uh, yes, I do, but I also modify the servo grommets to still help with vibration, but to give the vehicle a bit more precision than using grommets the way they were originally intended with the brass bushing. So what I do with the servo grommet is I actually cut it to where the grommet just sits on the bottom side of the servo, not on the top. And then I don't use the uh, brass sleeve that typically goes between a rubber grommet. The reason for that is when you use the full grommet and the brass piece, it doesn't allow you to fully lock the servo down. And that's probably the best way to reduce vibration to the servo, but it's also really bad at holding the servo in place and having the precision steering and throttle that you need for long nitro races. So this is what I found to kind of be the balance of both. It gives me the precision as if I'm not using a grommet, but it gives me the protection of using a grommet because I still have the rubber between the graphite tray and the servo. Another tip that I do is on the Mugen radio tray, we have these plastic pieces that the servo screws, they go through the servo, through the tray, and into here to secure the servo in place. I like to take just a drop of glue before uh, building the tray and securing these in place. It just makes it easier anytime you go to put a servo in or change a servo to have these secured in place instead of trying to hold it from the bottom as you're running the screws through from the top. Another thing that I do on the back side for the throttle servo is that same plastic piece. I just take a Dremel, I come in with a sanding drum and just kind of clearance it a little bit. Just makes it a lot easier to drop the servo in. With the Protec servos, it doesn't have the wire uh, hardwired into the servo, it has a connection. So it's pretty easy to drop in and out, but this just helps make a little bit more clearance um, so you don't have to kind of force, force the servo into place. So from there, I just drop the servo down into the tray. Go ahead and plug the plug into the servo. And then I'll take the wire and basically tuck it in alongside the throttle servo. I also take the plastic radio tray support and with a Dremel, I relieve a little bit of material, and this just helps create a little bit more space for the wire. Um, you, you just don't want this wire resting up against the post, and over time with the vibration, it can kind of damage that wire. And um, you just wanna make sure that everything kind of has its place and nothing's like rubbing up against one another uh, for the longer nitro races. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and install uh, this brace, and then I will also put the screws in and show you how I tighten down the screws um, and compress the grommets. Another little tip, though, first is I like to use flathead screws with the Flashpoint Blue washers. Um, if you don't like blue or, you know, there's they make these washers in all different colors, but you want to make sure you use a washer or a screw that has a large enough head to really support the servo, hold it in place, and make sure that your steering and throttle are really precise. Okay, so now I installed uh, the servo tray support. I installed the four screws to hold the servo in place, but I left them kind of loose. What you wanna do is make sure that the servo is squared up to the radio tray. Usually you can just kind of push it to one side or the other, but you wanna make sure that this gap between the servo and the tray is equal. You don't wanna have the servo 
in at an angle. From there, I'll just go ahead, kind of hold the servo and the tray in place, tighten these screws down the rest of the way. And then you can see that the grommets are pretty much collapsed, but it still allows you to have that rubber grommet or a little bit of a buffer to help absorb some of the vibration. And that will really help increase the life of the servos, but yet still give you the precision of the servos being secured in place for the long nitro races.